We'll start with a live look across the Bay Area and a red flag warning just going into effect for much of the area. Good evening, I'm Brian Hackney. And I'm Juliet Goodrich. Let's get right to meteorologist Darren Peck, who is tracking the high fire danger. And let's talk about the difference between that red flag warning yeah. for the fire weather concerns and the wind advisory for the rest of us, because we've got both. And the winds just picked up over the last few hours, so the red flag warning, which starts now at 11, does not expire until Tuesday. In the afternoon, this covers the North Bay Mountains, East Bay Hills, and the Santa Cruz Mountains. We will see gusts up to 60 miles an hour and very low humidities. That's the fire weather concern. But in addition to that, this is going to be windy at your house and pretty much Bay Area wide. Everywhere on the map here that's shaded in tan, we're all under a wind advisory. Much more limited window of time on that. That's only Monday morning through Monday night. But it's already started to get gusty in the North Bay. Look at the current winds up here. Already up around 25 to 30 mile an hour gust up around Santa Rosa. But that's going to spread over the entire Bay Area. And that's what we're going to look at in detail coming up in the complete forecast. I'll see you with that in just a few minutes, guys. Back to you. All righty. Thank you, Darren. KPX5 reporter Kenny Choi is live in Fairfax, which is one of the areas of heightened concern tonight. And he's got more on how fire crews are preparing. Hey, Kenny. Brian, good evening. What makes this one especially more significant is that there are strong wind gusts and it covers such a vast amount of territory. The strongest winds expected overnight in the North Bay Mountains and Hills as well as the East Bay Mountains and Hills. Extra crews are ready to roll tonight as units are actively monitoring red flag warning conditions when a fire is more likely to ignite and spread rapidly. It does create a large area, which, you know, clearly the, the larger area of the red flag, the, the more significant or chances there are of any type of event happening. Under normal conditions, brush fires like this one in the South Bay are more manageable. Low humidity levels and wind factors are primarily driving this warning. Add extreme drought conditions for most of the state, and the pieces are in place for what could be devastating scenarios. If those winds catch any uh, fire, it's going to push it and uh, potentially become something big. Uh, so we want to make sure that we're there ready to put it out if it starts. In the town of Woodacre, students and parents gathered for a school event. One exhibit highlighting the prolific growth of wildfires worldwide, their paths of destruction and relation to climate change. Residents fully aware of the warning in effect tonight. Information that is given to local residents is a lot better. I get my Nixle updates. You know, I get my warnings from the sheriff department about like we are in a red flag warning right now. With strong winds come public safety power shutoffs. Residents in this part of Vacaville on Marbella Lane have already been alerted power will likely go off tonight. We've had so many fires in the last two, three years that it just scares us to death and we have to adapt to that. And if turning the power off is going to help prevent a fire, then we have to deal with that. Yeah, well, that's for sure. Kenny, are they giving you any idea of how this wildfire season is stacking against uh, stacking up against the other ones recently? Brian, this year so far, about 2.5 million acres have burned in the state of California. That's significantly less than the 4 million, the record 4 million acres that burned uh, last year in 2020. But you have to remember, there's still a, a significant portion mm -hmm. of the wildfire season that is left. So consider that uh, those numbers, you have to kind of take it with a grain of salt. Yeah, and we've still got more ahead. In Fairfield, that's Kenny Choi. Kenny, thank you.